Well, we haven't talked much about the winning, I guess, streak that you would call it. That's the first time I've actually said that because it just seems like, you know, we've been – each one of them has been um, a challenge and we've had to, you know, get ready for each one of those. So I haven't really thought about winning 6-0, and just like I didn't want to think about losing six in a row that we did <laughs> before we won, we won those six. So, I mean, I'm incredibly happy for the kids. I don't know that the streak has anything to do with our win today or our win on Tuesday or any of the other ones. Um, I think it has to do with playing – good defense and that's what we're hanging our hat on right now we're not worrying if we're missing shots or what our field goal percentage is going to be night in night out we need to rebound the basketball and we need to play good defense uh, if I could request a third thing from the kids I would say if we could turn the ball over just a few less times I would sleep better at night but those three things are really what we're focusing on right now Well, I think it's just our determination to play good one-on-one -on -one defense today. We knew Winthrop had some really great athletes. Um, she has done a phenomenal job recruiting. She's turning that program around, and I've been in those shoes before, and you can see that they have a very bright future. You know, we just happened to jump on them today, but that's what we've drilled and practiced the past two days. You're going to have to get ready to defend these players. They're very good one-on-one -on -one players. Um, so we're going to have to play some help defense. You're going to have to contain your man, and you're going to have to box out. And, you know, looking at the rebounding count, they, well, they got some some offensive rebounds, but not a high percentage. You know, we're trying to keep them to one and done because we also know that they're athletic and they could crash the boards. But it's just that being mentally prepared um, for the style of play that Winthrop plays, which is pretty much, you know, I mean, they've beaten some good teams in the league because of that smash mouth, take it to you basketball. And then this is the third straight game without Sonora. Talk about everyone really contributing in, uh, pitching in offensively and defensively. We had like a 10 plus rebound game. It, it really is. It kind of looks like the way we were playing early on, you know, before Sonora had some of those breakout scoring games. It's just, you know, team basketball. And even when Sonora comes back, it'll be the same thing with an additional weapon. You know, she does bring us, especially when teams are zoning us and things like that, an offensive weapon in the high post that's hard to guard. And we just love uh, Sonora's competitive spirit. And we will get her back, and we're excited about that. I don't, I'm not quite sure when. But it's also, like you said, it's positive to see that we've got enough pieces. And we knew that going into of this season. We're, we're not uh, going to be the most talented team in the league, but we play good team basketball, and that's what we value. And I like that our kids are okay with that. You know, we, I don't have to coach a lot of egos on this team. Um, you know, of course, these kids want to hit their shots, and they want to be part of the reason we're winning, but they're okay if they're not the leading scorer, or the leading rebounder, or the minutes they play. I mean, some of the things uh, right now that could be hindering us are, are not because of the culture of the program, and I'm, I'm really just thankful. I mean, that has way more to do with them uh, deciding that's how they want their program to be. We've got six seniors on this team, and they have decided that's what they want to value this season. And I think really that is driving some of our results right now. Hopefully we can continue. And then looking ahead to the next two games on the road, can you preview Charleston Southern in this next two road games? Charleston Southern is really good. And they've got great guard play. They've also got a good interior. Uh, the Buck Dome is, a, as you know, a tough place to play. We're going to have our hands full. Uh, I don't know what their result was today, um, but uh, it's, it's going to be a, a battle. Last year we stole one from them down there, and they took us to overtime here, and it took a last-second shot by Ali Trani to win the game. So it's, it's going, And they've got a lot of those players back, uh, similar to us. So it's, it's going to be a tough one. Well, Brooke, Brooke is a very hard worker. You know, she works um, not just during practice, but she gets her extra shots up outside. So she's got great work ethic, and she's very smart. And I think that some of the adjustments that we've asked her to make, uh, she's trying to do that. She's very coachable. And so it's not a surprise to see her coming along. And then some of the things that maybe people didn't notice early on in her first two years is that she was battling a knee injury. She had a rather extensive surgery after her freshman year going into her sophomore year that, you know, I think some of the residual effects of that kind of uh, showed up last year in her sophomore year and even early on in this year, but she seems much more comfortable, I agree with you, out there and, and able to make an impact.